Well, as long as multiple people hold the position, it this makes guy's it not serious, and I'm leaving. James, if you want a refund, you well, let me good know. day, sir. For some reason, the famous atheist Matt Dillahunty decided to have a conversation with none other than Andrew Wilson from the Crucible. Oh, like I will leave. Oh I, no, I, I don't. I, like I don't. It's not my show, lady. I don't give a shit if you leave. So I don't know Andrew at all. I don't know what what version of Christianity he's advocating for. I didn't bother to look him up. We literally just met, said hello as I sat down here. In the beginning of the conversation, Matt admits that he didn't look up who his debate partner was, which quickly turned out to be his fatal flaw. Like David Hume said, between ought and is. Ought I don't care what you believe, bro. I want to know why, re absent your belief. Andrew's aggressive debate style is not to everybody's liking, but that it would make Matt quit immediately after his opening statement was certainly surprising. So, uh, 50 minutes and... Uh... Kick it. No, I don't think so. I'm not going to sit here and dignify the preparation that I went through and what people work here for. You're so indignant, Matt. You keep interrupting me. I know I, closing I, I'm not going to sit here and dignify what was supposed to be a debate about Christianity versus secular humanism, which one's better for the world, Yes. with someone who clearly showed up with an agenda that has nothing to do with that. I just like Someone who refers to trans people as deranged lunatics who will self-terminate if you dare to question them. How am I wrong, Matt? Someone... I agree that talking about transgender people as lunatics is inappropriate and deliberately provocative, especially considering that Matt is in a relationship with a transgender woman who goes by the name of Arden Hart. I'd even agree that transgenderism is off topic entirely in a debate about secularism versus Christianity, but for the fact that Matt brought up the topic of homosexuality first. Mike Johnson's the new Speaker of the House in the United States. He's homophobic as all get out. He's argued to criminalize homosexuality. Homosexualities, by the way, are U.S. citizens with specific, specific rights that he wants to take away. Moreover, he advocates for gay conversion therapy which is unscientific and torturous because he thinks he can help them pray the gay away. Matt claims that Christianity is unethical because it leads to the unethical treatment of homosexuals. Andrew claims that secular humanism is unethical because of the sexual morality that follows from it. I don't think either of their claims are true because there are Christian supporters of LGBTQ issues and secularists who are anti-LGBTQ. So it's not like these are inextricably linked. I understand that it's difficult for Matt not to take these attacks on transgenderism personally. Still, it would have served him better had he just remained calm and countered Andrew with reasoned arguments instead of forfeiting. Goodbye. Jackass. This is a great opportunity to expose. <laughs> did, you call, did, you call, did you call me a jackass, Matt? Well, you and your husband have a good day, Matt. Oh. <laughs> oh, have a wonderful thanks. day, Matt. Thanks. Me and me and my husband. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah.